Jacinda Ardern is the Prime Minister of New Zealand. Jacinda Ardern might not remain the Prime Minister of New Zealand for long. The people of New Zealand have risen against Jacinda Ardern. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical arm of TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tejasvi Malhotra and in this video I will explain how anti-government protests are giving a jolt to Jacinda's throne. Let's begin. The world is rising against liberal political ideologies. Leaders viewed as liberals are facing massive protests. It is pretty much like the sane population of all countries has had enough of toxicity. What began in Canada and found support in the United States and Australia has today become a mass movement in New Zealand. That's right, inspired by the Freedom Convoy, the people of New Zealand have risen. Who have the risen against? Isn't the answer obvious? Facing the wrath of the people of New Zealand is Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, the blue-eyed girl of liberals around the world. The protest outside New Zealand's parliament in Wellington is swelling in size with each passing day. Thousands of people are holding a peaceful protest against Jacinda Ardern's government and are demanding an end to inane COVID mandates and the removal of Ardern from office. Hey, it's me, Atul. I started this channel. We started small, we went big. Suddenly, the whitey police was after us. We dodged and ducked, but the algos got us really bad. So we designed our own app. It's free. We never asked for money, we never will. But the droid called us too sensitive and blocked us. We still have an Apple app. Join us and fast. Because if you don't, we will cease to exist. Check out the link in the description. According to The Telegraph, herb gardens have been planted, makeshift showers are set up and hot meals a day are served up for free three times a day by volunteers. There's even a daycare tent. According to a protester, Jacinda has to go. She has eroded our freedoms. Another said, we want the mandates gone. They are hurting innocent people and killing our businesses. This isn't New Zealand. New Zealand has made it compulsory for government workers, including nurses, teachers and the police to get vaccinated. Everyone is required to wear a mask and private employers can impose vaccine mandates as well. On Tuesday, Jacinda Ardern got her police to move concrete traffic barriers forward by several hundred feet on three streets near the protest site. This resulted in a clash between the protesters and riot shield wielding police. What is MAGA? Make America Great Again? Yes, it is definitely a flagship campaign of former US President Donald Trump. In New Zealand, however, MAGA stands for Make Ardern Go Away and people are carrying MAGA posters all around the protest sites. Among the banners and placards decorated with slogans such as End the Mandates, We Go Home and Freedom Not Fascism were plenty of hats with letters MAGA on them. Jacinda Ardern has on her part refused to meet the demonstrators and on Tuesday said she was concerned things were becoming increasingly violent. Around the world, people are rising against liberal authoritarianism. In Canada, innocent people were harassed by Justin Trudeau's forces for expressing themselves and exercising their right to protest. An emergency was invoked by Trudeau in order to justify the shocking incarceration of conservative Canadians. In the United States, Joe Biden has deployed the National Guard to prevent a trucker's convoy from setting camp in Washington, D.C. Around 25 separate convoys plan to join forces and converge on the nation's capital to replicate recent protests in Canada. In New Zealand, Jacinda Ardern is increasingly looking to use force against peaceful protesters. The protest underway in Wellington, which is now getting replicated across the country, threatens Jacinda's power. It can lead to her government being evicted. And this is a scenario the New Zealand Prime Minister wants to prevent by hook or by crook. Jacinda Ardern would be making the biggest mistake of her life if she resorts to using brute force against the protesters. One in the three New Zealanders supports the Freedom Convoy. Jacinda would be digging her own political grave if she goes ahead with the forced eviction of the protesters.